Travis is one of us. He's crazy as a bug in a crow, but he was a good guy. He still communicates with us some way or another. You two were fans of the of the doc? Yeah, I mean, look, it, that doc just hit everybody by like shock and surprise. I remember watching it and I was like, man, I wonder if something on those grounds is affecting these people. <laughs> so fast forward a little bit and I saw an article. You know how Jeff Lowe had to turn over the zoo to Carol Baskin? Right. And I saw that this article stated something like, well, I'm happy to give this zoo to her and all the ghosts that go along with it. And I was like, wait a minute. Did he mean literally ghosts? And I made a few phone calls and he started telling me the hauntings associated with the zoo. That's a whole other chapter that nobody ever knew about. There are a lot of things that were happening on those grounds and with Travis Maldonado. And from the moment the crew arrived on site, Travis seemed to make his presence known. I didn't know what the that was. After I brought you out, I was going back here to grab my mask. And I swear to God, it sounded like a, a guy spoke like I would a be, foot away from my ear. That don't surprise me, man. Spirits and ghosts and everything out here. Did you have any expectations going into this, knowing the backstory? They didn't have time in that series to even go into paranormal stuff, because I've heard people say, well, how could it be haunted? How could it not? I was a little skeptical at first, but there's no doubt in my mind that place is haunted. Jeff and Lauren Lowe started stating that Travis's spirit went on and would knock on their windows like he would do when he was alive and mess with their lighting. And it just happened two nights ago. You just come up and he'll go, Two nights and, ago, yeah, you heard and that? we have security lights, motion lights. Motion lights will come on, but there'd be nobody here. Just Travis screwing around with him. Come on, Travis. Once we got there and we started really hearing about the level of, of experiences and hauntings that everybody was having, it got real serious really quick. And the investigators left us with this tease about what they found in Joe Exotic's old house on the grounds. And when we went inside Joe Exotic's house, we documented an experience that literally is probably on the top three paranormal experiences in terms of evidence that we have ever collected. 